What is going on, everybody? My name is Japes, and welcome to another episode in my career mode series. We are still as uh, we've had our international debut right now, and so we're now headed on into our second match against Lionel Messi and Argentina. So thrown right into the thick of things, but as a, as a uh, you know, as a ambitious manager wanting to make his way to the top, the uh, playing against teams just like Argentina in the international realm is exactly what you want to be doing. You want to be winning these games, getting out there. We've got a pretty darn strong, uh, strong side. Um, I think our right back's our weakest player, but all in all, our attack is stellar. So if we can score some goals, chances are we'll do A-OK -okay winning these matches. Just checking to make sure that uh, Jesse Rodriguez is indeed left-footed like I thought. So we're going to try playing him on the right this game. Maybe he can cut inside and get a shot or two away, score maybe a few goals for us. But we're starting here in the ninth minute, and it's Argentina moving forward. And that is a wonderful little block, and he is offsides. Otherwise, I was sure that was going to be a terrible, terrible start, and we would be down at that point but it would not be the case as we draw level at halftime 0-0 zero, zero, and uh, we have an opportunity now to do something special and get ourselves into good spots Argentina and Brazil are the top two teams in our uh, in the current group and that is a foul 10 times out of 10 at the top of the box um, also wanted to say a quick thank you for the support on the puppy you know Q&A Friday Q&A video um, also, on that note of other things, non and well, semi non FIFA related, uh, I've got that other channel that I've been talking about, youtube.com slash air japes. Once I get back in town, that's when that'll really be kicking off. But there'll be a link on the screen somewhere during this video uh, that you can click on it and go subscribe there if that's something that you want to do, or it's got nothing, absolutely nothing on it, um, especially as, except maybe some activity from, I don't know, seven plus months ago or something along those lines. But it's 70th minute, we're moving forward here. Armero crosses it. And Barbo nods it down. And Barbo is kind of a special player. He feels kind of like it. He his pace does wonders for him. He ends up in all sorts of places on the pitch. Now he's default set as a center forward, but I play him as one of my center mids, and I kind of use him in that attacking mid spot or the left center mid spot, which I find more often than not, um, when using the false nine formation, that's the spot where people are really getting forward and really causing problems. So that's kind of where that uh, that comes into play. And on we went. Di Maria and uh, Argentina trying to get themselves back in the match. A lovely bit of passing. Eventually, they're working it inside. Tevez gets it. And Tevez is going to step right back. Get free. Finesse shot. Goal. 76 minute. And I am now level. And we have blown a lead that would have been a spectacular one to keep. That would have put, a, put us in a far better position in the group. And instead, we are going to come to a close in the match and after uh after one last chance and barbo galloping free up the line going for a drive at the near post unlucky and that is where this one is going to come to a close. I'm sorry I got ahead of things right there, but I just watched this back, and I didn't think I sh showed the last clip, but that is A-OK. -okay. And we are 1-1. Only a So a share of the points here could have been worse. It could have been better as well, as uh, we still do get one point. That's how, that helps us out, as World Cup qualifiers can be a little crazy. We find out Falcao bruised a rib in the match, and he's going to be out for nine days. But that really has no effect, because that is the end of the international break. Two, two matches played, and... That's the end of that break for right now, and we are moving moving on ahead and back to Blackpool, where we have just had a crazy, crazy January transfer window. A lot of new players into the side, and we're coming up in a match against Birmingham City. Also wanted to know, uh, I'm still doing a little bit to catch up with my uh, where I to where I am in career mode. We're back playing the catch up game. I'll be able to upload longer episodes once I get back home. But uh, uploading a that 18 minute video took me near all day yesterday for the puppy video and. Um, Doing even a nine-minute video is like a two-hour process, but we're doing a little bit of squad checking things out, and even Iturbe has gone up one, having been at the squad in the club for such a short amount of time. Crazy, crazy improvements from Benziev. Plus five, I think, is what it said he was, which is just phenomenal. Victor Fisher already plus one, so showing showing signs of promise. Depay and Delefeu, no such progress as of yet, and same with Callas, but... There's always the chance that they will be improving in the very near future. And uh, we like to think, that, you know, I've got a good staff in place. And that means that uh, we'll be able to coach them up and, you know, get the team in good shape moving forward. A little bit of lineup adjustment pre-Birmingham City here. Uh, making sure we have all the right players on the substitute bench without having too many, uh, you know, too many players. We're going to play Callison and MTT. Cathcart has been phenomenal for us, but... 
We're going to give Callus a chance to uh, hold that spot. And MTT, actually, he's actually been wearing the captain's armband for us for a little while, which is kind of bizarre. Not the player I anticipated would be wearing it, but somehow he got given it. And uh, I don't really necessarily see a need to take it away from him just yet. And uh, hopefully this will be, they're quite a, a pacey center back pairing. Vilhena, though, played in on through on a lovely, lovely through ball. And gets it poked away from him there. But he's going to stick with that. His stamina done. His sprint is out. Somehow manages to keep a hold of it. Going to step inside side here. Play it to Matt Phillips, who takes a shot that is blocked. Unlucky there. But it's a Turbe who's now moved inside. He's going to use his pace to burst past Caldwell. Uh, cut back inside one more time. He's eventually going to find Matt Phillips, who's going to slide by his defender left-footed strike, and that is a nice save to prevent a nice little top net shot that would have put us into the lead. Aiden White going to pick up a quick yellow card. Um, let's see, where was I going though before? Oh yeah, uh, so once I catch up with uh, the career mode series, you guys will have to let me know if you want me to do this more as a kind of a let's play live. That was originally what I had intended to do, but I kind of watched some of it back and I was, you know, and it was during the transfer window and I was like, ah, they don't want to watch, you know, 30 minutes of me doing transfer stuff, so we're not going to do that. But when it's the actual games, I would have no problem actually doing it more as a let's play live style. So that's something that you guys, uh, you know, you'll have to let me know down in the comments below. Give me some feedback. I'm always trying to improve this series as I do love playing career mode. And I'm thankful that you guys are around to watch it. Also wanted to say thank you for getting to 2,000 likes on the last episode. That is awesome. And hopefully we can do the same on this one. Vilhena stepping inside. Five-star weak foot. And we're up 1-0 after that penalty. Unable to put it away there in the 49th minute but it's still early in the match we're going to cross this one in and still unable to nod home a corner Thomas Collis just could not get big enough and he's really not that big of a guy uh, he's, we have two six foot center backs which could present an issue if we can get into the Premier League next year because we're going to have a couple or quite a few teams with strikers that are far larger than my center backs and it's something that we'll have to take into consideration as we're moving forward. I'm still hoping Callis might hit a growth spurt, growth spurt or something. Same thing for Mtt, and there's a chance. Vilhena stepping free inside and getting tugged away and unable to put it away even with the foul. The ref plays on as he deems it a fair shooting opportunity, and the foul was earlier than that, but it's Benzia now with the ball top of the box. Going to go ahead and cut that one back. Step inside and rifle a low shot blocked by the keeper. The defender from Birmingham City is going to go ahead and pick up a yellow card. I believe that's Davis, uh, and it is indeed. Going to pick up that yellow card and allow us a few more chances. Matt Phillips, nice over the top ball. Played inside of Benzia, who's getting dragged down, but somehow manages to knock it into the back of the net to give us a goal in the 77th minute, and that is a two-goal lead that we will not be relinquishing. As hard as Birmingham City may try. Going to bring on some subs here. Get everybody a little bit of playing time. But nothing else happens. That is where the match is going to end at 2-0. So we take a nice little victory out of that after... Uh after what's been a you know a bit of a tumultuous month for the club we got a scouting report in finally we sent our scout out and nothing super special out of germany as of yet we see players current overalls and i'm still really new to this scouting thing um so i don't really know what's good to look for but i'm looking at their potential and max 80 max 82 is uh, you know is that exactly what we need but in the same token it probably would be good to keep some of these players as that you know if they turn into 77 78 rated players they can still really fill in and it's no big deal but they could be on that low end of that potential as well and i'm going to just go ahead and continue scouting and leave it at that anyways guys i look forward to seeing your feedback thank you all very much for watching if we could hit 2,000 likes again that'd be amazing my name is japes and i will catch you all next time